Good evening and welcome. It's the City of Marine City Virtual City Commission meeting. Uh, it's called to order on Thursday, April 1st, 2021 at 7 p.m. Can we please have a moment of silence to send our positive thoughts and prayers to those in our community that need our support? Thank you. Please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag, the flag of, of the United, United States, States of America, States of America. And, and to the, the republic, republic for which for it stands, one nation, one under God, God indivisible, indivisible, with liberty and justice, and justice for, all. for all. Thank you. Roll call, please. Board members, when I call your name, if you could let me know what city and county that you are in. Uh, Commissioner Bryson. I'm here in the city of Marine City, County of St. Clair. Commissioner Hendrick. Here, City of Marine City, St. Clair County. Commissioner Callahan. Here in the City of Marine City, County of St. Clair. Commissioner Clausen. Here in the City of Marine City, St. Clair County. Commissioner Kreidler. Here in the City of Columbia, South Carolina, Richland County. Commissioner Ross. Here in the city of Plano, Texas, County of Collin. Mayor Verkamen. I'm here in the city of Marine City County of St. Clair. City Manager Levin. Here in Marine City, St. Clair County. Good. Um, I need a motion to approve the agenda with the um, following amendments. We're going to remove agenda item 6B like boy through C through, I'm sorry, through 6E like Edward, the closed session minutes, and also removing agenda items 10A like Adam, the Eagle Scout uh, Beach Project. Again, he, the Eagle Scout wants to uh, talk to us in person. So, Hey, this is Jake. I'll make a motion. We approve the agenda as amended. This is Callahan Christian, support. Brian Ross. Okay, I got a motion and support. Roll call vote, please. Commissioner Bryson. Yes. Commissioner Hendrick. Yes. Commissioner Callahan. Yes. Commissioner Clausen. Yes. Commissioner Kreidler. Yes. Commissioner Ross. Yes. Mayor Verkamen. Yes. Motion carries. Moving on to public comment. Anyone is welcome to address the city commission. Please, please state your name and limit your comments to five minutes. Uh, commissioners will not respond, but we will follow up as necessary. Yes, I'd like to speak in public comment, please. And who are you? Um, Philip Alekshak, Marine City, Michigan. Okay. I just want to say now that we're going to go for the Marina grant that was approved at the last meeting, I just want to bring up to this commission that I know the property hasn't closed yet. I know the Marina hasn't gone in and there's still a grant to be sought, but it might not be a bad idea to begin a plan as to if this thing goes in, how it's going to be maintained in the future such as you know the docks if it gets any damage damage from ice in the river things like that these things are going to cost money to repair and if there's a city's property the city is going to be on the hook for most likely repairing these so i don't think it would hurt to begin the process of maybe researching around the state country whatever it might be look at marina marinas or transient boating of similar sizes see about how much the maintenance costs run, run roughly annually every year. So we at least get an idea, a peg marker of how much the city should be putting away annually to upkeep this marina, to be ahead of the game and not trying to figure it out after the marina is installed. And God forbid something happened, bad winter, ice in the river, damages one of the docks, things like that. We've got some surplus ahead of time 
to figure out you know, how we can cope with those types of situations that could occur. The next thing is, and I'm sure this probably might wind up, I can only make the assumption on the limited details of the background of the project I have, would probably wind up on the city attorney's desk. What liability could this pose to the city if somebody gets injured on it? Is there any special insurance riders the city would have to take out? Is it gonna be insured under the city? So that way, if something happens, someone gets hurt, someone drowns on that property or whatever near it, that the city could be off, you know, is the city on the hook for any liability? I just think that think of serious questions we need to consider moving forward as a city and serious matters that, you know, are of concern that need to be looked at addressed. I don't know if it would fall in the hands of the city manager to research these out or maybe even a subcommittee of the commission just to begin getting a plan together on how to address and tackle some of these issues. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Olenczewski. Any Anyone else for public comment? Okay, moving on to uh, approval of the minutes. Um, I need a motion to approve the city commission meeting minutes of March 18th. 2021. Any um, discussion or changes? Commissioner Callahan, I make a motion to approve the city commission meeting minutes of March 18th. Support, support, support Ross. Brian Ross. We have a motion and support. Roll call, please. Commissioner Hendrick. Yes. Commissioner Callahan. Yes. Commissioner Clausen. Yes. Commissioner Kreidler. Yes. Commissioner Ross. Yes. Mayor Verkamen. Yes. Commissioner Bryson. Yes. Motion carries. All right, moving on to the consent agenda. Um, I need a motion to approve the consent agenda. We've got uh, items A through F which includes the Community and Economic Development Board meeting minutes, um, the accessible parking request for the beach, the uh, brownfield plan approval, business license for CTC fabricators, uh, the Marine City High School um, Senior All Night Party, which is holding, wants to hold a parade, um, and then the Garden Club Spring Flower Sale. This is Jake. I'll make a motion. We approve the consent agenda letters A through F. Support Brian Ross. Support. We have a motion and support. Roll call vote, please. Commissioner Callahan. Yes. Commissioner Clausen. Yes. Commissioner Kreidler. Yes. Commissioner Ross. Yes. Mayor Verkamen. Yes. Commissioner Bryson. Yes. Commissioner Hendrick. Yes. Motion carries. Moving on to financial business, uh, motion to approve uh, expenditures for including payroll for $339,672.13. This is Commissioner Callahan. I make a motion that we approve expenditures including payroll for $339,672. And 13 cents. Does Jake support? We have a motion on support. Any questions? Yes, Commissioner Hendrick here. Um, I guess just one thing on page uh, six. Elaine, what is um, this aerial flight to obtain digital ortho imagery? That was something that was approved last year through St. Clair County equalization. Uh, that's the aerial image that you see when you go on the county assessing website for the um, parcels. We okay. pay for a premium upgrade to get better quality images. Okay, and then on the next page, um, it looks like we're using Wade Trim again for an engineering plan review for a brickyard condo. Where's that going? Yeah, that's something that we had to use a different uh, contractor because Project Control Engineers is representing the owner of the project. Where's that project going? 
What do you mean, where's it going? Where's the condos going? Is that under Gersey, isn't it? Oh, yes, correct. Yeah, I'm looking for the location. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was I was wondering what you're meaning. Yes, it, it's to the, the, the Gersey and South Bell River area over there. Okay, are they adding? Is this a new, brand new thing, or are they adding to existing condos? Oh, They're adding units throughout the area over there. It has been to the Planning Commission for the preliminary. After it gets through that, it'll have the uh, second approval at Planning Commission, and then we'll work its way up to City Commission. Okay. All right, thanks on that. And the last thing is I noticed we're paying our Brownfield development loan for the end $27,391. That's it, thanks. Uh, moving on to financial business. We, uh, we need to vote on this. Oh, I'm sorry, yes. On the disbursement. Sorry, I got that. Thank you, got that. Um, I need a, a roll call vote, please, for 8A. Um, Commissioner Clausen. Yes. Commissioner Kreidler. Yes. Commissioner Ross. Yes. Mayor Verkamen. Yes. Commissioner Bryson. Yes. Commissioner Hendrick. Yes. Commissioner Callahan. Yes. Motion carries. Okay. 8B, the resolution, resolution number 007-2021, fund transfer from the general fund to the water sewer fund. Uh, this is just an annual resolution that we do to cover the use of the hydrants for flushing. Uh, regarding that and the verbiage that's specifically on it, do we need to change it since the meeting was not specifically held at the fire hall? I guess that's a question between you, Elaine, and Bob. I just want to make sure that it doesn't come back to haunt us is all. Yeah, I see what you're saying. The verbiage on each of these, the next several as well, all say located at the MC Fire Hall at 200 South Parker, et cetera. Yeah. Bob, Bob do you have would any you recommend there? that we change the verbiage on the resolution? No, the, ver the, the it doesn't have to change. That is still our, our dedicated meeting, meeting location. Um, otherwise we would, we would, I don't know what we would put down. So people are still putting down the physical address. Mm. Makes sense. I mean, okay. I mean, your minutes, as you go back, as you go back in time, your minutes are going to reflect that these meetings were, were, were Zoom meetings. Just wanted right. to make sure. That's the only thing I wanted no, to do. Just, just wanted to make sure it wouldn't bite us later. Thanks for the clarification. No, that's, that's a very good catch. Thank you. You're, you're welcome. And if we have it in the meeting minutes now, then I'm uh, fine to proceed. Okay, I need a motion to approve. This is Jake. Hendrick, so moved. Jake, support. We have a motion and support. Uh, any questions about anything besides what Brian asked? Okay, roll call vote, please. Commissioner Kreidler. Yes. Commissioner Ross. Yes. Mayor Verkamen. Yes. Commissioner Bryson. Yes. Commissioner Hendrick. Yes. Commissioner Callahan. Yes. Commissioner Clausen. Yes. Motion carries. All right, moving on to 8C Charlie, uh, resolution number 008-2021. Fund transfer from the general fund to water sewer fund. Uh, this is just to cover our unmetered water and sewer usage for our municipal building. Okay, I need a motion to approve. Commissioner, Commissioner Callahan, so moved. The support, support Commissioner. We have a motion and support. Any questions about this? Brief question. This is Commissioner Ross. Um, is it truly unmetered or 
is it metered but just unpaid? My, I asked that. I asked that for the purpose of you know, some of those other water studies that we had done, understanding how much is metered, how much is attributed to leakage, et cetera. I just fear that if there truly is an unmetered area in our city that we, you know, we wouldn't know the difference between a leak and that. So I just wanted to clarify to ensure, you know, our physical plant is robust in that area. That may be a question for uh, Mike. Uh, this is actually for our municipal owned buildings like City Hall and um, the other buildings that we have, DPW police. Yep. Is that correct, Mike? Yes, it is actually unmetered meters. Our, all of our city buildings are um, unmetered. Okay. Do we have any way to tell the difference between usage there and a leak? Oh yes. Um, we have an average daily usage that we um, go by. If any time there's a leak or whatever, we either drop in pressure, or our water tower starts dropping, which um, alerts us as an alarm, and. Uh, if we over pump, we can also know where we're supposed to be during the day for pumpage wide, where we're supposed to be at. That's how we can tell if we got a leak or not. Okay, just just checking. Thank you. Any other questions? Okay, I need a roll call vote, please. Commissioner Ross. Yes. Mayor Verkamen. Yes. Commissioner Bryson. Yes. Commissioner Hendrick. Yes. Commissioner Callahan. Yes. Commissioner Clausen. Yes. Commissioner Kreidler. Yes. Motion carries. Okay, moving on to resolution um, number 009-2021 fund transfer from water and sewer fund to, wait a minute, did I just do that one? Did I just do 8D? No, you have to do that uh, D, water, sewer, to special okay. assessment. All right, I got ahead of myself. I lost my space because there's so many There's so many of these in a row. 009-2021 um, fund transfer from water, sewer fund to the special assessment fund. Uh, this one is to cover an estimated deficit in the special assessment fund. I need a motion to approve. This is Jake, so moved. It's Commissioner Callahan. Support support. Bill Paul. We have a motion and support, any questions? No questions, roll call vote, please. Mayor Verkamen. Yes. Commissioner Bryson. Yes. Commissioner Hendrick. Yes. Commissioner Callahan. Yes. Commissioner Clausen. Yes. Commissioner Kreidler. Yes. Commissioner Ross. Yes. Motion carries. All right, moving on to A.E. Edward, resolution number 010-2021 fund transfer from general fund to the cemetery fund. Uh, this is to cover an estimated deficit in the cemetery fund. It's something annually we typically do. Okay, I need a motion to approve. Commissioner Ross, I make a motion to approve the resolution 010. 2021 to approve the fund transfer from the general fund to the cemetery fund. We have a motion and support. Any questions? No questions. Roll call vote, please. Commissioner Bryson. Yes. Commissioner Hendrick. Yes. Commissioner Callahan. Yes. Commissioner Clausen. Yes. Commissioner Kreidler. Yes. Commissioner Ross. Yes. Mayor Verkamen. Yes. Motion carries. 
Uh, moving on to 8F, Frank, resolution number 011-2021, budget amendments. So the budget amendments that you have before you are obviously for the current fiscal year. Uh, if you look at the last column, the change, you'll see that the majority of the items in the budget are pretty uh, small and insignificant changes. Uh, there are a couple that reflect some revenues for grants. And then the more noteworthy ones are the budget amendments that are due to the renovation of 260 South Parker. And Megan is on the line if you have any, any questions about any particular line items. Okay, I need a motion um, to approve. Is Jake so moved? Support Bill Clawson. We have a motion and support. Any questions about um, budget amendments? Okay. No questions. I need a uh, roll call vote, please. Commissioner Hendrick. Yes. Commissioner Callahan. Yes. Commissioner Clawson. Yes. Commissioner Kreidler. Yes. Commissioner Roth. Yes. Mayor Verkamen. Yes. Commissioner Bryson. Yes. Motion carries. All right, moving on to new business. Marine City Area Fire Authority appointment. We have an appointment, or we have um, an applicant, Justin <clears throat> McCartney, for the um, Fire Authority Board. I need a motion to um, appoint the applicant. This is Hendrick. I'll make a motion to appoint Justin to the Marine City Area Fire Authority. Commissioner, no I'll support. We have a motion and support. Any discussion? It's just for everyone's info, this is the to fill the vacancy left by Steve McConnell, correct, Elaine? Yes. And that, I'm looking at the term. That term will go through um, June 30th, 2022. And Steve moved out of district. Just that's why he didn't. Right. Nothing was wrong. Correct. Anybody else? Okay. Roll call vote, please. Commissioner Callahan. <laughs> Yes. Commissioner Clawson. Yes. Commissioner Kreidler. Yes. Commissioner Ross. Yes. Mayor Verkamen. Yes. Commissioner Bryson. Yes. Commissioner Hendrick. Yes. Motion carries. Okay, moving down to 10 B Boy Grass Cutting Services. Uh, Elaine. Uh, this is something that's been coming up over the last couple of years, and I tried to find a way to, I guess, simplify this as much as possible. Uh, one of the things that we've talked about in the past is, is it cheaper to just contract out the lawn mowing and bring in some part-time people for DPW to help out over the summer months? And uh, I, I think looking at this table, you can see the numbers that we would have to remove from the budget. And based on the lowest quote that we got last year, what we would have to add to the budget for the current lawn mowing that we do. Um, I, I kind of held back on dispersing the budget to everyone today, subject to discussion and potential uh, decision on this grass cutting object or on this grass cutting uh, proposal. Um, anybody have any uh, discussion on this? I mean, we're saving $48,000, correct, Mike? Yeah, sorry I lost you guys, yes, um, about $48,000 a year. Okay. This is Commissioner Ross, Mike, is that the way you'd prefer it? I mean, are you all right? I know that a lot of that falls on your shoulders in terms of the responsibility of managing those people and 
directing them. So it actually works out pretty good. You know, we uh, we cut we start sometime like this month or beginning of next month, and we maintain the, the three cutters through the year. In August, you know, grass cutting gets shorter or you know not as much. And the kids go back to college or school, and I have one guy from August almost through October cutting grass. So it works out very well. It's a cost saving to the city. Um, I I can't see spending an extra forty eight thousand dollars a year. Fully agreed. Just wanted to make sure you were uh, okay still handling it from a responsibility oh, yeah. perspective. That's all good. Yep. Thanks for the input. Yeah, the thing that I like the thing that I like about um having it in-house too is that you know not only are um we providing jobs for our city employees but you know while the city employees are out and about doing grass cuttings at all of these different locations they are also part of the eyes and ears of the community um they can you know if they see something amiss or something uh, let's say a we had an issue last year with you know, the garbage is being full all the time because of all the to-go containers, which, you know, might happen again this year. You know, it's just nice that they're out and about throughout the community um, instead of just some contractor company that would turn a blind eye to stuff like that. So I think that's a good thing. Anybody I else? Just want to, I just want to thank him for cleaning up the around the telephone pole and the stuff behind the new city hall the cleanup that's been a eyesore. I've brought it up several times. And I I think that uh, he does a good job for what he does, but I still think that uh, I cut my grass sometimes twice, three times a week. And um, it's just when we get heavy rains and sun, it really grows. And I see Mike had it only scheduled for cutting twice a week. Anyone else? Can I, comment, can I comment on that? Yeah, go ahead. Um, when we get the, we, we cut the grass once a week. If we do have heavy rains and the grass is growing faster for, you know, like a couple weeks, two or three, so a month, whatever, I do have the guys come in on Mondays to keep up with the grass. So we are never behind on the grass. Um, the grass is always maintained. Our parks are always beautiful. Cemetery is always cut. Um, over the last couple of years, we've had no complaints about long grass in the cemetery, the parks, the ball fields, nothing. So everything is taken care of very well. Yes, it is. Anybody else? Okay, I need a motion. Uh, I don't think we actually need a motion. Uh, if everything's fine, I think I'll just continue on with the budget as we have it then. Do I need to do a roll call vote? No, I, no. I don't need any type no. of motion or anything. Okay. Just as long as it's noted in the minutes, Bob. This is Commissioner Ross. Yeah, we're we're good. This is you know no motion and no roll call. Okay. We are moving on to um, 10 C Charlie, the high tech quotes for 260 South Parker Street. Elaine. 10 D. Oh. High tech split this quote up into kind of two mm -hmm. sections. One is the cabling and the other is for the hardware. So we would need to approve both of these uh, really separately since they laid it out separately. Uh, there were quite a few things that we realized were kind of shortfalls for when the architect designed the building. So we did wind up adding quite a few extra drops and now that we have the drywall out so everything is open it's certainly a lot easier to add more drops now than try and add anything later i think this is a good blanket approach for for the new building so that we will be able to easily utilize the space and and this is i think more than sufficient for what we would need over at the space Okay. I need a motion to approve the quote for installation of cable for the new building at 260 South Parker. So moved, Commissioner Ross. Support. You might want to say the amount. You might want to say the amount. Uh, uh, 
Good idea. For <clears throat> hang on, I'm getting there. Ten thousand nine hundred and sixteen dollars and sixty four cents, and this is specific to high tech. So that would be the internet and uh, IT services. Motion for support. support. Uh, this is Commissioner Kreider. There's actually two quotes in here. There's there's two values. Yep, we can do them both separately. Yeah, okay. we're gonna, we got to do oh, them separately. Yep. All right, thank you. Well, there no, there's two, he's right. There's two quotes within high tech. Correct. We're going to do them separately. Okay. So I still need a second on the first. I Jake believe support. Commissioner Clausen um, seconded that. Oh, okay. Yes, so, we do have a, so we do have a motion um, and support. And we need a roll call vote, please, for high tech quotes. Uh, Commissioner Clausen. Yeah. Commissioner Kreidler. Yes. Commissioner Ross. Yes. Mayor Verkamen. Yes. Commissioner Bryson. Yes. Commissioner Hendrick. Yes. Commissioner Callahan. Yes. Motion carried. <laughs> All right, moving on to the second uh, high tech quote. Um, this is for installation of hardware for the new building for a total of $8,449.38. Again, so moved, Commissioner Ross. Support, support Commissioner Kreidler. We have a motion and support. Any uh, discussion on this? Okay, roll call vote, please. Commissioner Kreidler. Yes. Commissioner Ross. Yes. Mayor Verkamen. Yes. Commissioner Bryson. Yes. Commissioner Hendrick. Yes. Commissioner Callahan. Yes. Commissioner Clausen. Yes. Motion carried. All right, net what's for 10 D dog. I, my, my notes were messed up. All right, moving on to 10 E Edward Dyke security quotes for 260 South Parker Street, Elaine. So this one as well is split up into two separate uh, invoice or quotes for us. Uh, the first one is for the installation of a camera system. This involves moving our existing system in three cameras and then also in, uh, installing some additional cameras, which will give us full parking lot and around the building coverage as well as in both lobbies and down the hallway in our offices. Uh, the second quote is for security system with smoke detectors. So this is the equipment, the keypad and heat and smoke detectors for the building. Okay, I need a motion to approve the quote for installation of the security camera system from Dyke Security for $4,289.89. This is Joe. I'm making motion we approve the, uh, the uh, quote from Dyke Security for $4,289.89. Callahan support. Support. We have a motion and support. Any uh, questions about this? Not a question really, but uh, if anyone's wondering, NVR stands for Network Video Recorder. Just if I didn't know, so I figured maybe some others didn't either. Okay, anyone else? All right, roll call vote, please. Commissioner Ross. Yes. Mayor Verkamen. Yes. Commissioner Bryson. Yes. Commissioner Hendrick. Yes. Commissioner Callahan. Yes. Commissioner Clausen. Yeah. Commissioner Kreidler. Yes. Motion carries. All right, moving on. Um, I need a motion to approve the quote for the installation of the new building at 260 South Parker, the security system um, for $4,844.62. Commissioner 
Isn't Commissioner Jake, Callahan, so moved. Jake, support. We have a motion and support. Any questions about this? Okay, roll call vote, please. Mayor Verkamen. Yes. Commissioner Bryson. Yes. Commissioner Hendrick. Yes. Commissioner Callahan. Yes. Commissioner Clausen. No. Commissioner Kreidler. Yes. Commissioner Ross. Yes. Motion carries. Um, city manager's report. Elaine. Well, unfortunately, here we are again doing virtual meetings. Um, had I known that the county issued an emergency, uh, we would have been able to probably get notification out a little bit sooner and uh, not have to do a switch the last minute. Uh, apparently, the county did issue a uh, countywide emergency due to COVID March 18th, the night of our last meeting. So that extends through to June 30th. So we have that ability to do Zoom meetings until then. Doesn't mean that we have to, but we do have the ability under the, the county emergency. Uh, recently, we did have a on-duty employee who, while um, this person was at work, was notified of exposure. So as a precaution, we sent everyone home so that we can get the office deep cleaned. So everyone hopefully should be able to come back into the office on uh, Monday. Uh, Six Rivers has contracted with Allen and Associates to do the appraisal for the marina property. Uh, I'm told that hopefully should be completed within about 30 days and we'll get the results on that and uh, see where we are with the marina property moving forward. Um, as I mentioned, the budgets, I was working on that and just uh, wanted to make sure everything was okay with the grass cutting before I emailed those out. So what I will be doing is I will be emailing those out to everyone so you will have those after the meeting. Um, I was planning on having them delivered Monday. However, the, the person that typically delivers them is going to be off tomorrow because of the uh, Good Friday holiday. So likely we'll probably get those paper copies to you on Monday. Um, as far as 260 South Parker, uh, we're still working on that. Uh, if anybody's driven by, you've probably seen that they have pulled off all the siding, uh, replaced the windows. They'll be working on the soffits and eventually getting the new siding up. Um, they also have done quite a bit of work on the inside. Everything's all framed and they're starting to do some of the drywall. I have been working with them diligently on trying to keep things on course. Uh, thank you for the approval of the high tech and dike quotes. They will hopefully be able to get out there next week and start getting their installations. Um, fortunately, they will be able to install, work on installing drywall on one side of each wall and still maintain open, easy access for high tech and dike for working on all of that installation. Um, we are hitting a little bit of a snag with some of the colors for the floor and counter selection. Um, just really trying to figure out something that's going to work for the building. I have asked the uh, contractor, Salski, to see if we can get some other options because the materials and color selections that we had really weren't that great. Uh, so I'm waiting to hear back from him on that. Uh, otherwise, uh, I think that's about it. Um, columbarium sales or the niches begin, uh, I guess, really today or, or Monday. So looking forward to moving forward with that. That's it. Elaine, I have a quick question. Uh, I'm part of the subcommittee yeah. for the 260 South Parker and we met and I thought we picked out colors. I thought we came to an agreement and everything was done. Um, I, I did get a email back from Lisa. She was a little concerned about the color and then uh, Bill Clausen was not able to make it. Uh, we did talk at that meeting about trying to get some other potential color options. So I, I think that uh, it sounds like Ben is gonna be able to get us something. So we'll probably meet again and, and have an opportunity to take a look at that and see if there's any other options that we can do. And also he's gonna be looking into the timing of the colors that we did pick the the primary and the alternate. 
Oh, this is Commissioner Hendrick. Uh, Cheryl, the reason I, I just kept thinking about that blue, and I just think it's going to be a real problem long term um, with that type of color in there. Um, we're better off with something more neutral. I think the gray is, is the better choice. So I sent okay. Elaine a note. Right. Okay. I just want to make sure that we, you know, we're not delaying the project by by, <laughs> by not picking out colors or, you no, know. Not, not at this point, fortunately. Okay. Good. 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 I'm good. Uh, Elaine. Yeah, this, look, I'm sorry I missed that meeting, but I had that scheduled for a month already. Uh, good night that time because I got my last shot. <laughs> no, no problem, Bill. And then uh, one of the things I just wanted to say, I, I scheduled it in the middle of the day because I was working on budget and I know I usually try and kind of schedule them towards the afternoon when I know you're back in town. So hopefully next time we'll all be able to connect. Um, Elaine, this is Commissioner yeah. Callahan, quick question. So um, Earlier on in this process, we had already picked out a color scheme. Is this something that the contractor just can't, those colors they just can't get for us right now? Is that what it is? Or is that what he's looking for? He does not have the information of those colors. That was something that the architect had. And I did not reach out to him to get him to provide me all that information. Okay. So this is, this is the the subcontractor that uh, Salski is working with for the floor covering. All right. Just, you know, I, I, I do just want to put in a little, and I know I, you know, I asked to get off the committee. So, um, and I do appreciate the work that the group's doing now, but um, I think my 20 plus years of the retail experience and renovations and other buildings like this, you want to try to stay as neutral as you possibly can on a floor. A dark color floor is going to be a problem for you to start with. It's going to, it's going to date and it's going to get dirty much faster than you want it to. So, you know, that's just my opinion. You want to try to stay a little more on the neutral side. So. Okay. Thank you. And, you know, yep, and, I, and I don't know too, I, seriously, I don't know, you know, what, where we're at too, but you know, we may even want to think about if we're talking about durability, we may even want to think about some kind of a, a vinyl type wallpaper going partially up those walls with like a door, a chair rail or something like that for, for, for durability too. We might, mm -hmm. I don't, I don't know what the cost is going to be like in that, but that's something we might want to think about. So just an idea. I'll, I'll be sure to talk to Ben about that. Okay. Any, any other questions for city manager? Okay, moving on to um, commissioner privilege. We'll do this in alphabetical order again. Uh, commissioner Bryson. I have nothing tonight, thank you. Commissioner Henrik. Yes, um, I've got several things. Um, first, I wanna clarify something about our community and economic development board. Um, I had heard that it was said that the board is strictly to find businesses a place to set up shop. Um, unfortunately, that's not true. Um, so I'll read you right off the ordinance. The purpose of the board is to provide recommendations to the city commission on policies, initiatives, projects, and programs whose goal is to improve the infrastructure, public facilities, services, economic prosperity, and sense of place of the city and no further and to further the goals established by the city's master plan and parks and rec plan. I mean, we, we need to be careful how we're doing this. It seems like we're sticking kind of to a business thing. Um, we should be looking at infrastructure and the roads and the neighborhoods. And so we need to keep sight of the fact that we need to encompass the whole community with that particular board. That's my first item. Second one. Um, Everybody keeps saying that with this brownfield that you don't lose tax dollars. If you look in the EnviroLogic report that was presented last week, there's a chart in the back of that that specifically breaks down um, all the different taxing authorities per each year. And this is for the increase of the project and how much each one of those entities, um, their portion goes to paying off the loan. So it goes from the college to county operating 
all the way down, uh, seniors, libraries, parks, veterans, county roads, school debt, all of them have a piece of it and it's broken down specifically in there so that there's a total like in the first year of $22,888 for the first years to pay off the brownfield. So to say that these, these other um, millages aren't affected is totally incorrect. Anybody can look at the chart in the back of that um, report. The, the next thing is, um, I'd like to give some condolences. Um, a former employee, Bob Foltz, who was a police officer in our community years ago and who was injured in the line of duty, just recently passed away the other day. So I'm sure everybody in the city, a lot of the older members of the city know Bob, and he was just a wonderful person, great guy, always had a good outlook, um, even though of the injuries he sustained. But he was just an all around wonderful guy. So our condolences out to his family. And the last thing is, I'm gonna do a congratulations. Just let everybody know that Joe Slankster, our current fire chief, starting Monday, he's now going to be our full-time fire chief. Um, we've had to do this due to the fact that it's getting harder to get firefighters, but Joe has agreed to take on the task and he will now become our full-time paid fire chief, which we haven't had in quite a few years since Dick Tucker. So congrats to Joe. Thanks, that's it. Commissioner Callahan. I'm good for this evening, thank you. Uh, Commissioner Claussen. Uh, I have nothing from the Planning Commission. We haven't had a meeting yet. So I'm interested to see about these windows. Thank you. Commissioner Kreidler. Nothing for me tonight, thank you. Commissioner Ross. Just hello and well wishes from sunny Texas. <laughs> okay, um, I need a uh, motion to adjourn. Hendrick, so moved. Support. Go Clawson. We have a motion and support. Roll call vote, please. Commissioner Bryson. Yes. Commissioner Hendrick. Yep. Commissioner Callahan. Yes. Commissioner Clawson. Yes. Commissioner Kreidler. Yes. Commissioner Ross. Yes. Mayor Verkamen. Yes. Motion carried. Good night, everyone.